Hello everyone, in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can use GitHub Copilot on VS Code from the very beginning. Just open the VS Code and on the left side you will see the extension section. So you need to click on this icon and here you need to search for GitHub Copilot and here you can see GitHub Copilot. So you need to click on install and once you click on install it will also install not only GitHub Copilot it will also install the GitHub Copilot chat as well. So right now we can close this and github copilot is installed and on the right side corner down corner you will see the github copilot icon so here i have a simple html project a login form so what will github copilot do the first thing it will do is that let me just show you if i just over here nav and it will automatically suggest me some code and here you can see this is a shadow code it actually did not write the code you can decide whether you want to accept or reject the code and if you want to accept it you can press on tab and if you want to reject this code then you need to click on escape key if i now click on escape key there you can see it will remove the code and right now let me show you again if i now click on tab it will accept the code there you can see so you need to press tab two times so let me just uh, remove this and let's say you do not on the code completion it means if you want to you want to write the code by yourself in that case what you can do is that you need to click on this icon and here you can see uh, next edit suggestion you can just turn this off so you just need to turn those three off and right now if i just write our here code it will no longer suggest me the code but I like to get some suggestion so I'll just keep it on right now let's say uh, let me just show you the HTML file design this is a simple login form so here you can see we have the login form so let's say you want to change some uh, change the text color over here let's just say this so how can we do it uh, using github copilot that's that is really simple so here you just need to select this and you need to press on control plus i and here you will be able to say whatever you want to modify so right now i am going to say i want the text color to be let's say sky blue i am just showing you an example right now we will press enter and it will start modifying the code and there you can see this done so right now let's go back to the browser and there you can see the text color is right now sky blue so there is one more thing that you can do is that uh, obviously you need to accept this you can chat with github copilot so if i now press on ctrl shift and i it will show you the chat option here so let me just make it smaller and here you can see the chat option you can drag the chat option to over here as well but I like to have the chat option on the right side. So I'm going to right click here and click on move to secondary sidebar. So I'll keep it over here. So here uh, you can see that I already have some discussion with the GitHub Copilot. So if you want, you, uh, on the if new chat bar, you just need to click here and there you can see the first time you will see something like this. So here we can instruct our GitHub Copilot to make some changes. So let's say, uh, I want the login form to be colorful. So let's over here uh, make me the login form colorful. Let's just say this so it will do its own thing, but it is a bit slower. And the more details you give, the better result you will get. Okay. So it will first add some to do's and then it will start modifying it. So right now I'll just fast forward the video a little bit and there we go it started making the changes and there you can see it is complete so here uh, if you want to apply all the changes you just need to click here key and it will keep all the changes so right now if we just go to our browser there you can see the design changed so i do not actually recommend you to make a github copilot to write code for you because it's not actually made for writing the full code for you it actually better to take suggestion and if you have any question you can ask the github copilot and uh, the better thing one more thing uh, that github copilot does is that if you just made a mistake 
there you can see uh, we made a mistake over here github copilot will suggest you the solution so here you can see uh, it also has a file upload icon so uh, let's say uh, i have a image over here so i'll just drag this image and i can just leave it over here and there you can see it added the screenshot so i can say that make me a uh, make me a new file call design dot html and in that file make me the image design and i can now click here and there you go it created the design dot html and it is right now writing the code for me and it is done so right now i'm going to click here keep and let's go back to the browser and okay how can we go to the design.html okay let me just say here design.html press enter and there you can see it make me the proper design that is given in the image so let me just show you the image the image was uh this one this is the uh, simple image and it created me the design so i'm quite satisfied with it so yeah you can do a lot of stuff with github copilot and if you uh, don't understand something for example you just don't understand uh, this part of the code let's say so you can just uh, copy the code and say there explain me the code and it will tell you what exactly is happening over here also let's say you want to understand uh, teach me about variable in javascript press enter and it will tell you how variable or in javascript so it will create a to-do list to teach to javascript so yeah github copilot is quite useful i will always recommend you to install or use github github copilot extension in vs code because without the copilot vs code is will always be incomplete so i hope this tutorial was useful i tried to teach you everything about github copilot in vs code 